Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Python Flask. Today we are going to learn upload or import the CSV file to the database on Flask and the Python. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. In the last video, we have done how to import the CSV file data to the database with PostgreSQL. Now we are doing the MySQL. Okay. So let's copy this code. Let me do this one with another file that is dt whatever file name and paste this code. Next, we have to update this code with the, our MySQL code, right? I think the logic would be the same one. Okay, so let's copy and update this code and just to the connection here you can see that mysql connector is not there okay so i need to add mysql.connector.python i guess so let's install this package also so what it says that the no module with this one mysql.connector so i think we have that mysql connector Give me a second. I need to search it. Here we have this one. Pip3 install MySQL connector Python. So you have to install this. Okay. So this is done. Right. Okay. So this issue is resolved. Let's. This is the code. Let's first understand step by step. So here we have to import the flask from the flask and render template request from the flask. Then CSV. That is by default. And this is my SQL connector for the connecting to the database part, right? So initialize the Flask main app. Then my SQL configuration you have to do. So host, that is localhost, username. What do you have the username, host, username? I think we have the root, right? And the password, you have to add your password, right? So this, I think, this is that one. Otherwise, if it is not, then we change it. And I think it's this DB. Okay, so let's go here and let's me log in with my adminer. Okay, so here we have the root and the pa and here we go with the password. It should be correct. Okay, when we have a test DB, let's check that we have the users table with the name and the email. Correct. Okay, let's import that one. So let me run this code and first we'll check the demo. Okay, so here we have this file. So here we go with this one. Let's first upload browse. So currently you can see that in the table. If I go and check, we have the three records, right? Let's try to upload this one. So we have the test CSV and let's try to upload. Fail to upload to the database. What exactly the issue is? Let me go and check. Not enough value. So there is an issue in here. So let me just scroll down and there is a one more issue here. We can see that like this. Save this. Debugger is automatically run. Let's go and just remove this one. Okay. Currently, there is no record, right? Let's try to browse this record. Recent. This one. Upload. Again, issue. Let's check. Okay. Here we have the. I need to put the here. You can see about the users table. And we don't require the ID. We require only the two parameters because we have the two parameters, right? Don't require because ID is auto incremented, so we don't need to pass it, right? And anything else we have done wrong? No. Yes, this is done. Okay, let's go and check. Okay, let's browse this and let's go to the test sheet, then upload. Data uploaded successfully. Let's go and check this one. Okay, just reload and you can see that the CSV data is added, inserted successfully. Let's dive into the code level. Okay, so here we go with this one. So MySQL connection, then we have a 
upload data to the CSV. So first of all, connect to the MySQL database with the help of the MySQL connector. You need to pass the host, username, password, and the database, right? Then open and read the CSV file, whatever we are sending this file path over here. So here you can see that we retrieve the file path. Okay, then read the CSV file and skip the header if they have, okay? Then iterate over each row in the CSV file. So we are using the for loop, okay? Assuming the CSV has three columns, that is ID, name, and the email. So here we don't require the ID, so I have skipped that one, okay? Then cursor.execute, that is insert into the user's table with the name and the email as the ID is auto-incremented, so we don't require it. Then commit the changes to the database, then close the connection, database connection, right? And return true. Okay, after the insertion, if something goes wrong, it will print me that the error uploading the CSV to the database, which is already showing, right? We have already checked that one. Route index, we are rendering the index.html file where we have the form and the upload URL to upload. Here you can see that. This is the API for upload part and here we have a file which accepts the CSV file only, right? So this is done function. Next, we have upload function. This is the post request, okay? Then first we check that the file is included in the request or not. If it is not, then no file is included in the request. It will print. Okay. Get the file. If, if the file is there, then get the file. Okay. And the save the file to the temporary location, wherever you want to save, save that location. After this, save that one, save the file to temporary location, and then upload the CSV to the database. That this is the function where we are processing the data from the CSV, then insert data into that table okay if success it will return then we will return that the csv data uploaded to the database successfully if not then we fail to upload the csv data to the database with 500 status code and exception that an error, an error, error occurred okay with the 500 status code okay and this is the app run command to run your main application that's it and this is index.html where we have the form action where we have a submit and accept the csv file multi-form part data this is very important you have to write over here okay after doing this you are able to import the csv file data to the database in mysql python and the flask okay so any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day